All right, everybody, it's here. If the Tesla is here, it's charging right now. You can see this. I'm recording just this intro here in the, the garage because it's quite hot outside. But uh, if I look at this, as we can, well, let's see, let's come over here and maybe see that this is super dusty. If you look at me, you can duplicate stuff in there. This is just from a couple of days of driving on and off the ranch, going to town, getting a few things done. Uh, so it's kind of a mess. I'm actually going to wash it off, just rinse it off with some water, and then I want to talk about the delivery and the process of picking it up and how that went. So I'll be right back. All right, not really a wash, more of a rinse, but we uh, took some time to work on the Tesla uh, after I saw the cat's paws and the dirt on the back. I decided to uh, spend a little time just rinsing off before I made this video. So today is a couple of days after we took delivery. The process itself was pretty smooth, but not the same as everybody else. So what I would say for my experience was that I had scheduled it for uh, a Tuesday afternoon, uh, four o'clock. And my family and I had planned on going out and doing some things during the day and then going there late. And we did that because I had asked to push up the date slightly as I thought I'd be out of town right now. Um, I'm not, obviously, but I thought I would be. So, oops, I, uh, I set that date up early. Um, what happened was we were going to go out and somebody wasn't feeling well, so we decided not to. But I got an email actually before noon that said, hey, the car's ready. I sent a note to the local delivery center saying, I got this email, can I come? And within a minute, they had responded and said, hey, come on down. So we all piled in, drove down there, and uh, went and picked up the Tesla. Now we got there, the showroom, or, you know, the I guess it's a service center in a showroom, was fairly deserted. There was a, one customer there, and there was one person working. And he took my name and then went to find paperwork. And while he did, we walked around looking at cars like this. There were a couple of these in the showroom. And so we spent a few minutes kind of looking at them. Uh, he came back and wanted me or at least was going to start the paperwork and have me accept delivery right then. But I hadn't seen the car. I said, hey, we'd like to inspect it, make sure everything's okay. He said, no problem at all. It's on the supercharger. Let's go outside and do that. So we went outside and uh, I had a paper checklist. My son had a mobile app. And I want to kind of show you what we did as we went through there. So we get out there to see the car and it looks, you know, roughly like this. My son, actually, the first thing he did was came in and said, hey, this gap is slightly larger than this gap. And I think if you look from there to there, it's harder to see now. Um, maybe it doesn't show up on video as well, but I do think this distance is slightly less than this distance. Honestly, I don't care. Uh, my BMW is over here. I went and looked at some of the the gaps and things there, and I noticed that overall, uh, there are imperfections there too. I never inspected a car as much as we did this, you know, walking around looking for scratches, looking for gaps and everything to say, hey, how does this stuff, is there, does it work, is this line up? This actually lines up much better than the the gap over here. I have actually have a decent, maybe an eighth of an inch gap on this BMW. There is a slight gap here. Um, and I can't quite tell if this just didn't fit in there quite the same way or if it's just a manufacturing defect or something. But honestly, that's the kind of thing I would just never notice. And I think if you're nitpicking on those things, you're going to find that in a lot of different cars. Um, you know, I don't see big gap issues like I have seen pictures of some places of gap issues. Um, I don't see any scratches or dings in most of the car. As we walked around and looked at it, I did find over here some minor scratches on this wheel cover, but um, honestly, I don't care about those things. I wouldn't certainly want to throw away a wheel cover, ask for a replacement because of a minor scratch there. It's the kind of thing I actually would probably put on there myself over time. Um, overall, everything looked good. You know, we, we did the exterior, we walked around and looked at it. Uh, we came back and started to do things like, hey, let's check does the trunk actually go up and down correctly? Uh, this is actually a great water test, which I've seen because I just rinsed it off. There's water running down there. 
but not a lot coming down over here. This seal says one thing they said to check. You know, we certainly checked that the buttons worked in here, that the pieces and parts were all there. Um, and then we got to know the car. You know, the, we got in and started to test all the features. The one thing I will say that we, my other son noticed was this latch. Now it's working now, but you can see it should catch and it's not catching. Right there it caught, but multiple times sometimes you'll have to push it in there to get it to catch. So we actually created a service appointment for that and they're going to come out, well they were supposed to come out today actually, but I got a call from the service center that said uh, they didn't have the part in stock, they didn't want to come out here. Uh, as you can see, uh, we're far away from everything and not have the part if they needed to replace it because they weren't sure if they could fix it. Uh, I appreciated them coming out and doing that. I mean, it's the kind of thing I've seen from, uh, you know, service centers when I'm there, but most dealers would make me come back and get that fixed. Uh, everything we checked in there seemed to work. I haven't found anything in a few days that was a problem. After we spent about 20 minutes, 30 minutes looking at the car, testing, pressing every button and feature, we went and got the, uh, the salesperson. They got a service person to look at that code hook. Then they brought out the paperwork. I signed, I think, six times, which was crazy. The fewest number of signatures I've ever had uh, in terms of purchasing a car. Then they showed us how to program our phones in here, uh, accepted delivery, and then my account actually hooked up right away to the car. Uh, we programmed three keys. They gave us an extra two because we wanted to program it for my son as well. Not that he's going to drive it a lot, but you know, just in case, I wanted his phone to be on there as well. Uh, I think that process took about 10 or 15 minutes for us to do other programming. The guy was really helpful. He stood next to us and walked us through how to, for me to send invitations for the drivers, them to log in and set it up. Um, how to change a few settings, and then he said, you know, just go have fun. All in all, I think it was about 45 minutes for us from the time we parked until we drove away in this car. But um, a lot of that, I think, was because we were early. Uh, we wanted to let it finish supercharging, get to 90%. And then, you know, we just took our time going through the car. Overall, I think I have no real complaints about how things work. Um, you know, some of the things that people might have complained about with fittings and seals inside of here haven't really had an issue uh, i do live on a ranch so it's going to get used and abused a little bit and so uh, maybe i have more tolerance but overall i thought it was fantastic we spent the rest of the day driving around and, uh, and enjoying time with family but really enjoying the car so far i think it's amazing it's fun my wife took it today for the first time to drive it and she said it's the best car we've ever owned and uh, I don't know how many cars I've had with her. I've had over 30 in my life that uh, I've been either the primary driver or it's been her car that I drive around. I would tend to agree. I think this was amazing. Uh, it's crazy fast. I'll do some videos on the driving experience, the charging experience and all that. But for now, uh, I thought the delivery went really, really well and we're super excited to have the car.